Hello everyone and all the IB candidates out there who are taking chemistry subject. Welcome back to my channel, study with me. Today I'm going to talk about chemistry paper 1 times on 2, standard level, May 2021. For some question of the standard level, you will find it the same with the higher level questions. Thus, please find the explanation of those questions on my other videos, and I will put the links on the description. The question number that are the same with the question on higher level are available on the left side of the screen. Alright, let's get started. Alright, number 3. Which molecule has the same empirical formula as molecular formula? Therefore, we need to find the simplest ratio of A, B, C, D and compare with the molecular formula. If they are the same, it means that's the answer. For A, it has 2C, H4, and O2. Therefore, the empirical formula it's CH2O because we divided by 2. And for B, C2H6O. And this is the empirical formula and molecular formula. They are the same. The answer is B. Let's check for C and D. Empirical formula, it's CH2. We divided by 2. And for D, C2H5. All right, they're not the same. So the answer is B. Number four, what is the sum of the coefficient when the equation is balanced with whole numbers? We check first for Na. Here is 2 and here is 1. Therefore, we put it here 2. Let's look for H. Here is 4 and here become 2. So therefore, it's 6 and here is only 2. So we put 3 right here. Don't forget we need to put the coefficient here is also 1, and here is also 1. The total is 7. Number 6. How are emission spectra formed? Emission is releasing when the electron drops to a lower energy state. Therefore, it's from higher energy to a lower energy. When it's talk about emission, is releasing the energy. Thus, A and B are not the answer. It's between C or D. For C, promoted to a higher energy level, and D, returned to a lower energy level. And emission is from the higher energy to lower energy level. Therefore, the answer is D. Question number 11. What is the formula of the compound form from Ca2 plus and PO4 3 minus? Ca2 plus PO4 3 minus we can use the crisscross method. So 2 plus will go down here. 3 minus will go down here. It becomes Ca3, PO4 in bracket 2. The answer is B. Number 14. What is the heat change in kilojoules when 100 gram of aluminum is heated from 19 degrees Celsius to 32 degrees Celsius? Specific heat capacity of aluminum is 0.90 joule gram Kelvin. Even though here is in kilojoule, and the specific heat capacity will be the same, which is 0.90. To calculate the heat change, you can use the formula. You can just plot delta T 32 minus 19. It's not necessary to convert it to Kelvin, because when you look at for the difference, you don't need to convert it to Kelvin. For mass, the mass of aluminum is 100 gram, so divided by 1000 because of you need to convert it to kilogram, as it in kilojoule. And for C, it's 0 0.90. Therefore, the answer is C. Number 15. Which is the enthalpy change of reaction delta H? B. It's the activation energy. A, it's delta H, which is negative. It's exothermic. And the answer is A. Number 17. The graph shows the Maxwell-Boltzmann energy distribution curve for a given gas at a certain temperature. How would the curve change if the temperature of the gas decreases while the other condition remain constant. If we draw 
another curve when the temperature is lower or higher it will be like this if the temperature is lower because more particles don't have higher kinetic energy if it's t is higher it should be right here because more particles have higher kinetic energy let's go back to the answer the maximum will be higher and to the left of m the maximum will be higher and to the left of m so the answer is c number 23 what occurs at an anode you need to again remember an ox cathrate both are the same for voltaic and electrolytic cells therefore the answer is d voltaic cells oxidation electrolytic cells oxidation because anode and ox oxidation number 24 which is the same homology series as ch3 o ch3 ch3 o ch3 if we draw it it's gonna be like this and this one is ether be careful this one it's ketone ch3 c double bond o ch3 ch3 c o o c h3 is ester because it has two o and here it has only one o ch3 ch2 ch2 oh yes it's one o but it's alcohol so the answer will be d one o is in the middle the same with this number 30 a liquid was at to a graduate cylinder what can be deduced from the graph when you see the graph it's mass and volume so i could directly think it's density all right so what can be deduced from the graph density of the liquid and this is between a and b amount of liquid or mass of empty cylinder all right don't forget with this formula so this one is y intercept describe whether a line cross the y-axis so when it's no volume just zero it means we can check the mass of empty cylinder therefore the answer it's b all right guys so we're done with the question number 30 and we're done with the SL paper please check my other videos to find the explanation of the other question because I think it's gonna be repeatable if I explain it again here I will put the link on the description you can find which question of HL that are the same with question in SL paper on the left side of my screen if you guys find this video is helpful don't forget to subscribe likes comment and share have a good day and see ya!